Good afternoon, this is Bob Iacchino coming to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago. Talking metals, let's talk gold today. The gold uptrend still intact. Gold continues to rise, but that rise seems to be slowing ever so slightly. We are up five of the last six sessions. We had a low today of about 1228.40, high of just under 1236, with a close right around 1231. So not much of a move, but an up move nonetheless. The recent uptrend is still intact. Now, the big spike above the recent range came in on the day that the Saudi tensions began, when there was an announcement that the Saudi Arabians might be responsible for the disappearance of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. So that key driver is the relations between the United States and Saudi Arabia with this particular inter international incident in focus. Prime Minister, or I'm sorry, Prime Minister, Secretary of State from the U.S., Pompeo, is in Saudi Arabia now supposedly investigating this disappearance and it is causing tensions back and forth, conversations between the U.S. placing sanctions on the Saudis and the Saudis saying that they would retaliate with sort of their economic force is the way that they put it. Uh, they mentioned that they were a huge player in the global economy, which is true. Oil is a huge input product, not just in gasoline, jet fuel and diesel, but in petrochemicals, plastics and the like. So they're kind of flaunting that economic power and the global economy could be at risk. The global effects of Saudi Arabia pulling oil off the market in the face of the Venezuelan collapse, in the face of the Iranian sanctions, and in the face of potentially high prices already could have a real ripple effect and could be a short-term danger for the global economy. So they are putting that threat out there. It's veiled, but it's out there. And Bloomberg put it best, they called it pointing the weapon at themselves because Saudi Arabia has huge bills to pay, including the stipend that goes to Saudi Arabian citizens, which some analysts say keep the citizens content with their current situation. The Saudi uh, royal family is not necessarily popular, but that stipend is popular. So it's a multifaceted issue, very complicated. It is keeping gold a little bit bid, though it's likely if there were a resolution to these U.S.-Saudi tensions, gold will fall back just as quickly as it broke out. This is Bob Aichino talking about gold in an uptrend from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago.